Hi, welcome to another video. So, I think that this is now a great time to refresh my Stop Using Cursor Guide. I generally make these guides when I think there's something good that I want to add. And this time, I think that what I have is cheaper and better than Cursor and Claude Code. Now, actually, let's just get into it. To start, we need to talk about the main VS Code extension. Well, Cursor mainly has two things, the auto-completion and then the main agent. Now, previously, I used to ask you to install two separate extensions, but I've shifted to using just one, and it's actually way better than Cursor's implementation and cleaner than Klein and RuCode, which a lot of people complain about. So, I'll be using Kilo Code. It's a fork of Ru and Klein, and while I was skeptical at first, because there weren't many new features when it started out. In recent times, it has gained some really good and cool features, like the autocomplete integration, which is really nice. Their own Kilo code provider also doesn't take a 10% markup fee like Open Router either, which I like, especially when you want to use different models like I do. So, this is why I use it as well. They are pretty fast at adding new model supports as well. GLM 4.6 was like added three days ago in Klein, while Kilo had it as soon as it was launched. Klein has lost its momentum for a while. So, I prefer this as I have to test models quickly, and I like their simpler and some niche features as well. Kilo doesn't have the option to change the model for autocomplete, and I hope that an option to change the model for autocomplete is added but for now, it uses CodeStraw, which is pretty good at code completions, and Continue also uses that. That is about it. So, moving forward, let's talk about the coding plan as well. In the coding plan, I would highly recommend the GLM coding plan. It gives you access to GLM 4.6, which I prefer. I think this is a great all-around model, and you can configure it in different scenarios, with different agents. I'll mainly focus on using it with Kilo code since that's what I use, but you can use it with other setups as well. So, here are three plans that double in price across successive months, but you get 50% off in the first term. The same discount also applies to the quarterly and yearly plans. Whether it's monthly, quarterly, or yearly, you get 50% off for the first term. Also, this doesn't mean that if you take the $3 monthly plan first and then upgrade to the yearly plan, you won't get the discount. You will still get the first month 50% off for that plan. So, you can start with the $3 plan, test it for a few days, and then upgrade if you like. This is a much cheaper alternative than Claude Code or even Cursor, which costs $20 and has really bad limits. Claude Code's limits are also pretty bad, and I think GLM has been really good for my tasks. That's why I recommend it. Anyway, just get it, and then open up VS Code. Here, you can go to Extensions and search for Kylo Code and install it. Once installed, you'll see it in your sidebar. Just open it up, and you'll see this. Because we'll be using the GLM coding plan, you can hit the Use Your Own API Key option. You can also use the Kilo Code provider for the $25 free credit. It doesn't charge you the markup fees that OpenRouter does, which is great. Basically, what you pay is what you get, and I like that. Plus, it supports all the stuff OpenRouter does. Anyway, here, Select the ZAI option, and then select the International Coding Plan. Once that's done, get your API key from the API key section and paste it here. Then select the GLM 4.6 model, and you should be good to go. Now you can start using it. There are different modes you can use in different scenarios. For example, if you are planning a new feature, select the Architect mode. You can also use different models for different tasks. I'll talk more about this in my next video.
Anyway, it's doable and works really well. I won't go into depth about how to use it, but generally, you can make rules, slash commands, and similar customizations. You can just type in what you want, and it just works. Now, let's talk about autocomplete. You can go to Settings, then to the Autocomplete option, and enable the Pause to Autocomplete option. This will enable autocompletion. It uses the CodeStrill model for this, which is great. To make sure it works, configure either Kilo Code Provider, Open Router, or CodeStrill, whichever you prefer. It also has a ton of customization options. You can set autocomplete delay, quick tasks, manual autocomplete, and more. Plus, it shows loaders and indicators, which I like. It works really well. If you're someone who likes using a terminal-based coder, then I'd recommend using Claude Code combined with the GLM coding plan. It's even better. You can set it up by editing the Claude settings file, putting in your API key, and you're good to go. It works really well with Claude Code, as it's super fine-tuned for it, so you can use it accordingly. That's mainly about it. I think this is the best alternative I can recommend. It's cheap, really good, and helps you break free from the non-open weight model providers. I've switched to it and can definitely recommend it. It is a pretty simple but very effective setup. GLM coding plan really brings it all together, and Kilo and Claude code is the best tools that I think is what you should use. Kilo just removes the hassle of setting up one extension for autocomplete and one for agenic coding as it brings it all together, while Claude Code is just Claude Code, and I use it because GLM is fine-tuned on using it, and it works the best there. So, yeah, I like it as well. I thought that it was a good time to do this video and tell you guys that how you can use it as well. The price to performance is really good nowadays, and it's really good time to break free from Anthropic's highly priced models, as without that, it will mostly remain the same price, and will just end up being overcharged day by day. GLM is also open weights, which is always a plus. Anthropic recently started making the rate limits more harsh on the Claude Code plan as well. So, this is great. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.